Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paint. And that specific process, peelable auto paint, has evolved a lot over the past four years since Dip Your Car has been launched. I mean, we went from way, way, way back in the beginning to spraying our whole cars with aerosol cans to self thinning gallons. And now we have the ready to spray PDS, the Plasti Dip Spray, automotive refinish in a gallon works excellent so if you found this video there's a chance that you may be pre preparing to spray your whole car plasti dip your whole car using only aerosol cans now that is a massive undertaking so there's some things that we need to cover today how much product do you really need what other accessories do you need to get the job done correctly how much is the job going to cost what kind of challenges could you run into when trying to take on this massive project so we're going to walk through a bunch of that stuff today I hope you enjoy the video. Now, step one is to identify how many aerosol cans you need to properly spray your entire car or Plasti Dip your entire car using those spray cans. You wanna make sure that you have the durability and the peelability that you need for your project or else it's just not even worth going down that road. So, the example we're going to use is the simplest, most straightforward example that I can possibly think of, a mid-size sedan just going matte black. There's not gonna be any base coats involved, no pearls, no clears, just simple matte black. That would be the easiest, most straightforward way of dipping your car with aerosol cans. So, how many cans do we need for a mid-size sedan going matte black? Well, the easiest way to identify how many cans is to take the preferred or the correct way to do this using a pro car kit and work our way backwards. So, if you have a mid-size sedan, you're gonna be going matte black, you'd be looking at a four gallon Pro car kit, so four gallons of PDS. So you know that Plasti Dip comes in 11 ounce aerosol cans. Now, if we're gonna do this, we may as well do it right. So let's pull out some dip science here. Now, if you've ever emptied out an 11 ounce aerosol can, you know that there's not actually 11 fluid ounces of usable product in that can. There's actually about nine. So you're looking at about nine ounces of usable product per can. So if there's nine ounces per can, basically what we're gonna be doing is we know that one gallon is 128 ounces. So we would essentially need 14.2 cans to equal one gallon. So let's round down a bit and just call it 14. 14 cans per gallon to get the same amount of usable product, we're looking at 56 cans. That's what you need to start with. So let's go tally up and collect 56 Plasti Dip aerosol cans. We'll come back to this later. Now this here is our 56 cans of black Plasti Dip aerosol. Now this is everything that we need and this is what we know is an equivalent of four gallons of black Plasti Dip spray. Now keep this in mind. One of the major benefits of spraying your car with Plasti Dip over traditional paint is of course that it's peelable and removable. If you don't spray enough product on your car, it's not peeling off very easily. So let's not even go down that road. This is the minimum that you're going to need. Now this isn't everything that you're gonna need for your project. Once you've acquired all of your cans, you're gonna start needing some masking materials too. So you're gonna need at least one or two rolls of blue painter's tape. That's gonna be about the minimum uh, requirements of the products that you need. Now as you stare at this, mountain of cans, you're probably gonna get a point where you at least wonder one time, how much did I spend on these? And how much exactly did those guys who use the Pro Car Kit spend on theirs? It's gonna cross your mind at least once. So let's just stop where we are. Let's go back to the drawing board and do just a little bit more math before we proceed. Now it's time for just a little bit more dip math here to make sure we're going down the right road. Now we know we needed 56 cans of Plasti Dip Spray in order to get this job done properly. Now you ask yourself, how much did we spend for our 56 cans? Well, cans of black Plasti Dip Spray are $6.85 each on dipyourcar.com, which means we spent a little over $383 on our aerosol cans, and then we're gonna need to buy some tape. So let's just stop for the fun of it. And let's say, well, just for the heck of it, what would have been the cost if I wanted to go down the other route? Well, a four gallon pro car kit is priced at 
and $82 for matte black. Now that's not just your four gallons, that's your four gallons. That is your DYC complete sprayer system. That is your blue masking tape, your dip guard, decals, microfiber, dip washer. This is literally everything you need in order to spray your car. So if you take a step back and you, you look for a second, I know this video is all about spraying cars with aerosol cans, but is there anybody out there who's going to take a look at this and who's going to be able to convince me that this is a better idea than this? I've sprayed whole cars with aerosol cans before. I've done it four or five times. I've done it with black. I've done it with white. It is not fun. From a manual labor point of view, it is extremely difficult on your hands, your fingers, your ligaments. I'm not even going to go down that description. Aerosol cans are only built, they're only manufactured and designed to spray forward. So when you get to horizontal surfaces like your roof or your hood, and you try and hold that can horizontally down, and it just spits out air and sputters product over your hood, and you end up with essentially a really well playable checkerboard on your hood, you're going to think a couple times to yourself, I wonder if it was better to go down the other route. If spraying your car with aerosol cans was easy, believe me, I wouldn't be pushing you away from it. Do I want to sell you 56 aerosol cans? Sure, but not for the wrong reason. I'd rather you not buy anything than buy a bunch of stuff and not get something that you're proud of at the end of the day. The reason why the Pro Car Kit exists is because there's a right way to do this project. Now, if you have any questions about this, you want to talk about it a little bit more, you can always email in or call in to customer service at dipyourcar.com. There'll be somebody there to talk to you a little bit more about the details of why you may or may not want to do this. Now, I'm not saying that everybody who aerosol cans, rattle cans, whatever you want to call it, their car is doing it wrong. But I am telling you that there's a right way and a better way to do it. And if you're picking the rattle can way because you think you're going to be saving money, I can tell you right now that that's just simply not the case. Now I know some of you may have been excited to see me spray a whole car with spray cans or rattle cans, but I'm simply not going to suggest that you do something or teach you how to do something that I wouldn't do on my own car. It's just not the way that I'm going to go with it. Now if you're in say California and you're saying, well my only options are rattle cans, well it's the middle of August 2015, believe me when I tell you, you do not have much longer to wait in order to get your hands on some gallons that are compliant for your area as well. Then you can join the rest of the group and make sure that you get it done the right way. Again, I don't want you spending any money on anything unless I know you're gonna enjoy it and get your values worth. So if you have any questions about this, you can always reach out to Dip Your Car. There's somebody there who will walk you through a little bit more of the details on this. It's Fonzie, I'll see you on the next video.